Are you an options trader looking to capitalize on short-term market volatility? Well, short call calendar spreads are a really great way to do that. So by combining two options in the same underlying asset with two different expiration dates, these options can offer the potential for profit or income and limit your risk depending on how you manage your trade. So we're going to talk about the ins and outs of short call calendar spreads from what they are and how to use them to generate profits. So what are they? Short call calendar spreads, this involves a purchase of an options contract with a near-term expiration date and at the same time sell an options contract with a longer-term expiration date. Both options have the same underlying asset, same strike price. So in our example, let's say you're interested in Vertex Pharmaceuticals. And at the time of this example, it's trading at 322.54. So we would use a short call calendar spread when we think this price movement could be sharp, but we're uncertain in what direction. Now, a lot of these kind of op strategies, these are used before the release of important news, such as a company's earnings or an announcement that could increase volatility. But, but in our example, VRTX, it's in a sustained uptrend has yet to clear the new highs and we're using a technical reason for the trade because we anticipate a break but it could easily drift into a range as well so we got to keep that in mind so setting this trade up say you decide to set up the short call calendar spread you look to collect premiums as potential income so the first step is to buy a call option in our example we're going to use a near-term expiration date of 30 days 320 dollars strike price so now i would look at the 325 strike However, that strike is not available for the second part of this trade. So for this example of buying, we're going to use the bid price of $6.60. So, okay, so this contract will cost you $660. Now, the next half of the trade, you got to sell a further out expiration date. And for this example, we're going to go to 51 days just to keep the prices because we never know what we're going to get filled out. We're just going to use the ask price for the premium that we receive for selling the call. So you would sell the 320 call, receive $16.10 in premium or $1,610 for setting this trade up. So you would end up with a credit $1610 for what you got in premium minus the $660 that you paid for the front end. Your premium is $950 when you place this trade. That's what you receive. The maximum profit potential, this is going to depend on factors like time until expiration, interest rates, implied volatility. However, in general, the maximum profit potential for this strategy is limited. This is because your max profit is always equal to the premium that you received when you sold the option minus the premium that you paid when you bought. So quick example, you sell an option for a dollar, you buy an option 50 cents, your maximum profit, 50 cents. So in our example, the max profit that we can make is $950 minus commission, maximum risk. So our profits are limited. Our risk is potentially unlimited if that long call expires worthless, but the short call, the one you sold further out, is still open. This is why it's really important to monitor a short calendar spread position as your expiration date number one approaches the first one because once that date arrives there's always the possibility that both options would remain alive and expose you to additional risk so let's imagine both contracts are still active the max risk to you is if that strike price is virtually the same as the underlying stock when the near month expiration date comes by now the short call that's the one you sold further out still has time value which is called theta in the greeks because it's currently at the money. So because that expiration date is further out, there is still time for that stock to increase in value, which lends itself to a higher premium. So remember, at the expiration of the first contract, the long call is worthless, and the difference in premiums between the long and the short call is quite large. So in short, we don't really know what our maximum risk can be. You know, the best that we can do is manage the trade and close out when we see that the reward is not in our favor. Now, for safety's sake, closing out this position before the expiration of the front month contract could be a wise move for most people because holding that obligation to sell shares at a strike price lower than the actual share price could be a disaster for you. So there's two break-even points for a calendar spread, one above the strike and one below. Now, the break-even points are the stock prices on the expiration date of the long call combined with the original price of the spread at which point you break even now since the worth of a short call is based on volatility it's really impossible to know the exact price that you're going to become break even so some quick hits here short call calendar spreads limited potential but could also be potentially high risk the maximum profit is realized if the stock price is far above or far below the strike price 
on the expiration date of the long call. The maximum risk of a short calendar spread with calls, it's unlimited. If that long call expires worthless and the short call stays open for two break-even points, we're never going to really know the exact prices. Short calendar spreads, look, they're often used when you're looking for a price change, but the direction is really uncertain. There's a link above and a link below for a really great PDF about trading options during these volatile times that we see. Link is above, below in the description. Hope you check it out.